Alright guys, we are here with Castaway Team, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and put in a new cash dispenser in this Hyo Sun Halo 2. So you can see the cash dispenser currently isn't in the machine. I have the dispenser right here, and the four screws to secure it. Now this is actually going to be a very simple uh, install. Cash dispensers uh, don't require uh, too much, so uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So go ahead and place your cash dispenser on the drawer there, and then we're gonna line it up with the holes right here and right there, you see under the cords. And then there's actually another hole where you're gonna put the screw in from the bottom on that side, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, my three top side screws are in. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom side one. All right, so you're actually gonna have to sit on the floor for this one. You can see there um, where we need to screw this in, but it's gonna be from the bottom side there. So we'll go ahead and throw that screw up there. Okay, now that our screws are all in there, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. So these are the two ports I need to plug into, and then these are gonna be the wires I'm gonna plug in. All right, as you can see, both our wires are plugged in there, but we're not done yet. All right, now go ahead and open your machine up. And we're gonna go ahead and power it on. All right, now we're gonna go back to our cash dispenser. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bind it to the machine. So we're gonna come take a look at this side here. You see a little green scoreboard. To the upper left of that, you're gonna see some jumper pins, uh, one through eight. And then you're gonna see a little black button just to the upper right of that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna to touch pins seven and eight, which are gonna be the closest to the button. Now, if you don't have a jumper, um, you can go ahead and use something like a key or a screwdriver, just to make sure it's metal. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and press those now. So now we're resting on the keys here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press and release the black button. All right, so I've pressed and released the black button. I'm gonna continue to hold onto these jumper pins for about 20 seconds. All right, it's been about 20 seconds, so while keeping my screwdriver on the two jumper pins, I'm going to press and release the black button once again. All right, I'm gonna hold for a few seconds more, and then I'm gonna go ahead and release. All right, let's see if it binded. All right, now that we've gone ahead and done our binding, let's take a look at our operation program menu. Um, as you can see, it's throwing us a master key error. This machine isn't programmed right now, so let's ignore that for now. But if we go ahead and look at the CDU, it is blue and has been properly binded. So this machine is ready to be programmed and get back out on the streets. If you found this video useful, go ahead and like, subscribe, give us a follow on Instagram, Facebook for any more updates and any more maintenance videos.